what do you think made the difference for you guys tonight? I think we just uh, we stuck with it. You know, it, it's one of those things where that game could have easily gotten away from us. You know, you felt like they had a bit of a momentum, you know, and it's it's tough. You know, we talked about defending without fouling. They had 15 free throws in the fourth. And, uh, you know, it was an area of, of concentration that just got to be careful. We, we know going in, the Rosen's going to get to the line, and he got there 11 times. So being able to control, be aggressive with him, but do it without fouling, I think is a big key. Uh, but the fact that we were able to weather that, you know, it's a, it's a good sign to see that us that us not let go. Um, you know, play after play, offensively, defensively, somebody made a play. What have you liked about Kuzma on offense so far? You know what? I think he struggled in the preseason, but I think he's found his rhythm. You know, I think he he's taking the right types of threes. He's aggressive with it, um, but he's letting the game come to him. And I think reading the flow, um, playing downhill at times, but also just uh, when the ball finds him in rhythm, he's he's ready to shoot it and lets it fly. Wes, was that just getting time and kind of getting games under his belt? That's probably a question for him, but <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I, I'm either way. It's a good sign to see that you know finally getting the rhythm. Um, so I like, I like where he is, you know, the, the mix of drives, the threes, um, the playmaking, um, but, you know, we just have to continue with it. Um, you obviously like the lawn in that closing group. I think he had a really big defensive rebound, mm -hmm. maybe after, um, a KP thing there at the end, but how crucial is he just to be able to have at a quarter, especially tonight when you guys held on at the end of, I think, a couple different periods? Yeah. Um, well, I think it's important. We, we talked about what the flow requires late in the game. You know, it allows us to play offense, defense. I thought Monte was good. He made some big plays for us. And then, you know, you, you know if you need to, need more size on the ball. If we're switching late, you know, you got a guy with a little bit more size and length who can do that. The assist number is 26 tonight on par with last year's numbers. What did you like about how the ball was getting side to side? Oh, I love it. Side. I love it. Uh, the, uh, the fact that, you know, 26 assists and 41 field goals. So, you know, that's that's an area that it's really important to the way we play. It leads to overall efficiency and the willingness that our guys have shown to buy into that. And, you know, I got to highlight uh, Brad, you know, because time and time again, we're putting the ball in his hands for a reason. He's going to make the right play. And he, he did it tonight. And it's uh, something we've seen throughout the preseason where he's made plays and guys didn't necessarily make the shot. So I understand, you know, there's sometimes it's it's natural to feel some frustration, but He's not he's not leaning into that. He's you know, he's gonna continue to make the right play and it, it's it's really helping us. And Gill and not Gafford at the end, what went into that decision defensively? Well, I mean, we I was concerned about the rebounding. So, you know, and obviously if they went direct post to Vooch, he's a problem down there. Um, but it gave us a little more flexibility uh to switch. And if we had to, you know, blitz and rotate or hit DeRozan, it gives us a little bit more mobility to get out, you know, to those three point shooters. Hey Wes, how are you? Two games in now, uh, two big leads. Um, had to fight to keep um, uh, the lead in Indiana. Mm -hmm. This time, you know, they came back in prevail. But out of that short sample size, what have you learned uh, from this team? Um, a little bit of resilience. You know, I, I, it's never going to go a hundred percent perfect. It's okay to win ugly. You know, and it's it's hard to win this league and. We, we can learn from a, a game like Indiana where you, you know you have a comfortable margin. Um, you know this team is going to just stick with it. They are a potent offensive team. Uh, the fact that they do get to the line stops the clock, gives them points, and allows them to set their defense. So that offsets a little bit. So a subtle difference between the other night where it's more transition turnovers and quick threes. Um, you know, yes, we have to do a better job without fouling. That would help. But – um, they have a lot of offensive weapons, so you know that it, it, it's going to be a grind out game. The fact that we're able to come out, you know, come out on top in these type of situations, it's growth, it's learning. Um, and the more comfort we have, you know, with a little bit of adversity, I think it's going to help us, you know, down the road. What did you like so far in terms of the chemistry between Brad and Kyle and KP? And maybe what do you think they can improve on in that area as well? Well, I think it's just, it's going to take on a life of its own, it's going to continue to mature. And you'll see more synergy. You know, it's still just a small sample size with them together. Um, more comfortability with, you know, how each other play, where each guy wants their shots, you know, what plays to run to get guys to their spots. All of that, you know, there's a little bit of a learning curve. So I like where they are. And the fact that they're just willing to 
kind of play and figure it out, you know, conceptually play within the framework that we have. Um, and I think it'll, you know, it'll take some time, but I think it'll continue to improve. Coach, when you when you look at Denny on defense uh, and the impact he had, especially guarding DeRozan, you know, DeRozan had a lot of points, but there were a number of times where uh, he tried to get Denny with his pump fake. Denny mm -hmm. stayed down. Uh, he also closed 10 possessions with defensive rebounds. What did you think about his impact on the defensive end of the floor? Underrated. You know, I think it's it's one thing when you look at the box score and a guy's got 32, it's just like, man. Um, but to your point, he did some good things. It's growth for him not to bail guys out with fouls. You know, and I, I I get he got rejected a couple times, you know, away from the screen, but he was mindful of showing his hands, trying to stay down on pump fakes. Um, and, and to your point, the rebounding, it's been an issue for us, you know, through the preseason and the other night. It, uh, you know, it wasn't great tonight, but down the stretch, you know, that's winning basketball. Um, you know, Denny makes, you know, those type plays. Brad makes a, a heck of a play, chase down block. Um, those are the winning plays that, you know, the block shows up, but it doesn't, you don't get the full uh, measure of what those type plays mean and how it can change the balance of the game. Chris, did you consider challenging Porzingis in the sixth foul? I did, but I was concerned. I just needed to hold on to it. You know, it's just so those late possessions, and they can happen as, you know, the last possession. You, you have it in your back pocket. You know, that I think it's, it's a tough one, but, you know, I, I wanted to hold on to it. The goaltend on Barton in the first half, is that even a challengeable play? Oh, yeah. I mean, the same thing. well, if they have to call it, they have to call it for me to challenge it. But if, if they don't call it, then I can't. And then you had Beal and not Denny guarding DeRozan late. What was the intuition? There? To, to Brad's credit, he, he has to guard him. So that's, I mean, that says a lot. When you, the guys that you're playing through, that you're, you're running your offense through, is, is willing to step up and, uh, and it's not certainly for the lack of effort on anyone else's part, but you know he, he accepts the challenge and, and and wants that matchup. I think that's great. Wes, I know getting the win is the most important thing, but how gratifying and maybe how important is it that Brad had that go ahead shot just for his confidence or the team's confidence in him? Whether it went in or not, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go back to him. <laughs> so um, I don't think he needs a, a boost in in confidence. Um, if he does, um, I'm saying it right now, I'm going to go back to him. So uh, it, it's good that he came away with it. Um, I, I actually thought he got fouled on the play. Um, but the fact that he was he was willing to uh, play downhill all night, it, it, it's a lot. He didn't, uh, you know, he didn't settle, which I think is important. Last question for you. Wes, were there, did you feel like there were times tonight where even against Vooch and, and DeRozan and those guys that offense was your best defense? Uh, I will never say that, but you could argue. Um, and I think it's you have to have that balance. I mean, you're not going to shut a team out. Yet you have to score. Uh, they're really aggressive, you know, physical team. And, you know, we had stretches of turnovers, but, you know, late, at least we were getting shots to the rim. Um, didn't necessarily get the payoff, but we were able to, to control the ball and make sure we got possessions up. And, and these type of situations, that's the most important thing. Man, it's so good to see y'all, man. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I said now, right? Um, who's uh, Drummond is a very big dude. Take us to the dunk lane. Did I dunk on him though? I don't know. I didn't feel anything. I don't really count dunks unless you like his body or something. But um, you know, I just saw like a weaker defender close out and just not. I just didn't want to settle and um, exploded. So. Wes talked about how you really found your rhythm, even in these just past two games. How have you felt different? Have you noticed feeling just a little bit more in sync? Well, I mean, I just took my time during preseason. Um, you know, I, I really just tried to sit back and, you know, I've been in the league long enough where, you know, I can turn it on and off and I can just figure out and, and see, because we have a new team and being able to see how other players play and see how I fit in and, then, you know, just try to, you know, overview from preseason and just attack the regular season. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to do my role. That's it. You know, play defense, rebound, and uh, make shots. It's real simple. What did you think about the shot Brad hit at the end? I mean, it was big time. It was definitely big time. And, um, you know, he was a little frustrated tonight, uh, you know, but uh, I, he did a phenomenal job of just keeping his head and just staying into it. And he's going to have the ball in his hands every night. In the game for a quarter. That's what we want. He's our best player. So 
Um, just put the ball in your best player's hand and, and make him make a play. And um, all preseason training camp and even these two regular season games, he's done a great job of, of being a scorer, but just making the right play at the right time. And, um, you know, it's, it's really good to see. Hey, Kyle, how are you? As you just said, uh, new team. Um, but is it a little bit surprising to you that two games in now, you guys have been um, cohesive and locked in enough to be able to withstand the other teams, you know, come back and still come up with the win? Well, I mean, this was a big step for us tonight. You know, I think um, we pooped the bed a little bit in Indiana. We still won, but it was an ugly win. And uh, for us, you know, didn't really get enough stops, you know, coming down the stretch. But then we got the right stops at the right time, just being resilient. Brad made a hell of a shot. AG came in when uh, KP fouled out, got a stop when we really needed it at the end with DeMar. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's what it is. That's what it boils down to, just getting stops at the right time, time timing possessions, and um, you can win like that. What, if anything, went through your mind when uh, DeMar shot went up? Last year, I was just like, oh, this is going to happen again. This is going to happen again. And uh, it didn't. But it rimmed out, though. It was close. And um, thank God. What did you like about the flow of offense? 26 assists on 41 made buckets. I mean, we're all just playing the right way. You know, we have a veteran team. We have a team that we all like each other. And um, I mean, that's the biggest thing. You can tell we like each other. Everybody's moving the ball, playing for each other. Um, we hold each other accountable. We may scream at each other, but it's not a, a barking match. And it's all coming from a right place of love and understanding that we all have the same agenda, trying to win. And that's what we've been doing all preseason, all camp. And, um, you know, I, I just hope we can continue to keep that mentality. Hey, Coach. I know you said at the end of the game with the uh, Glenn concert, but how does it feel, of course, game opener, home opener, and a sold out crowd back in DC? I mean, I just hope it's hold out, sold out when we come back from Cleveland. Um, you know, I think I think this is the year we have a we have a pretty solid team, uh, partly just because we like each other. You know, last year I could say that because uh, at the start, obviously we started ten and three, but I couldn't say that. But this year. Um, you know, when you when you play for each other, you're going to give yourself a chance every single night. And uh, we demand that of each other. And, um, you know, is this really fun playing with this ball club? Through uh, two games, how's the chemistry been between yourself, KP and Brad? What's been good about it? What can maybe improve moving forward? I, I think it's damn good right now. And, you know, we haven't really had opportunities to really – uh play too much together if you look back last year um uh, it was me and brad for a little bit he got hurt then it was me and kp for seven eight games then i got hurt and then if you look at preseason brad didn't play that much in preseason kp you know here and there but um you know we just all know how to play basketball that's that's what it boils down to brad is gonna make the right play kp's gonna make the right play i'm gonna make the right play and we're all gonna be aggressive at the same time and um you know, I always say it, you know, we've all been in situations where we've had to play off ball to better players, whether that's John Wall, um, Luca, or me, AD, and Bron. So when we have the ball, we understand and know how to play off the ball. And it's, it's, it's really fun. And uh, we have a good connection right now. Coos, I think before you checked in in the fourth quarter, you were trying to coach up AG on from when you were on the sideline. I guess that just more of a role that you're trying to take on this season. No, I'm just trying to win the game. Um, I think what was the possession. Yeah, Rui had the ball, and then, um, you know, he had Alex Cruz on him, one of the top defenders in the NBA, and I just tell him, stop slipping screens, get the switch, so Rui can have an easier job. But um, I'm just trying to win, and, you know, whatever help that is, it helps. So, uh, Just a quick question for you, Kuz. Uh, just some of the positives you took away from tonight's game. Um, our resiliency, I think that was the biggest thing. We didn't um, hold our heads down when they made their run in the fourth and we didn't really get scores, um, had a couple rough possessions, didn't get too many stops, uh, but we held we held strong, hold, held our ground. Obviously, Brad made a huge play. And, um, you know, the whole game, we were positive. We had to lead most of the game, but we were just positive. Every time out, positive. Hold your heads. It's okay. Keep keep the storm going, and um, you know that was much different from last year, and it was good. It's being positive.
We've seen you bring the ball up and initiate the offense a few times. Is that something that's kind of been new to you, or did you do that previously in your career in LA? Uh, never did in LA. Um, uh, obviously, we had great players, so that wasn't my calling. But um, you know, I have that ability. I, I can get a rebound and push. I can orchestrate things. You know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, have a high enough IQ to understand who needs the ball um, in situations and and what we kind of need. You know, I'm not going to do it every time because we have great players and we have point guards. But uh, from time to time, if it calls for it, it calls for it. I mean, just coach kept me in the middle of the floor. Um, I told myself I'm going to get a shot up and I'm going to make the shot. I mean, that was more or less what it was, just being locked into the moment, staying engaged in the game. Um, it's a great screen. I just made a good read. And, try to get the best shot possible, so. It seemed like you were pretty pumped after one of your baskets in the fourth, and Kuz kind of mentioned how maybe you were frustrated before that. That was a breakthrough. Uh, is that what that moment was for you? No, not really. Uh, it was just, just kind of getting going. Like, offensively, I wasn't really – I was just more or less penetrating. They were doubling a lot, so I was just constantly just making the right reads, making the right play. Um, and the ball just found me in a, in a nice little moment of the game. I was just excited for the shot, so. Uh, it definitely kind of got me going a little bit, but it wasn't nothing more than that. What did you like about the offensive flow tonight? 26 assists on 41 shots. Uh, I mean, just looking again, it's what, one, two, three, four, five guys again in double figures. So, what was it? Well, my math is on four. Four. Uh, but, I mean, it's just, that's a testament to us, man. We're just doing a good job moving the ball, uh, being aggressive, make smart plays with it. and. Ah, uh, damn, five turnovers. That's terrible. Uh, but we're doing a good job just moving the ball, sharing it. Um, who's ever open, shoot it. That's our mentality, you know. Uh, we trust everybody to make plays and uh, be smart with the ball. And what kind of reads did you feel that you got tonight with the eight assists? Uh, just finding guys. You know, they they do a good job of uh, doubling, of showing bodies helping in the paint, you know, so I'm I'm going to trust my teammates to make the shot, make the extra pass, make the read. And if it's a hockey assist, it's a hockey assist. But, you know, it's, it's not all on me to just score, 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 you know. So, um, you know, I've, I've embraced the role of creating for my teammates and, and trusting them to make the right shot and the right play as well. Two things, Brad. What did you think when you saw DeRozan go up at the last? <laughs> I thought it was cash. I ain't going to lie to that was a great look. You know, D1 don't shoot many threes, but when he do, ironically, they they went in and he hit us with one last year, two in the corner, right? So, uh, I mean, he seems to love DC, you know. <laughs> uh, no, but it was, a, it was a good look, good defense by a AG. Um, and tough shot, you know, contested, make him, make him miss. But he was a little nervous, nervous for a minute. Yeah, for sure. Other thing, um, I, being around you guys the last few days, I keep hearing – the same thing that you guys like each other this year. <laughs> Kuz even said that wasn't the case last year. And I just wonder, not so much what happened last year, but what's different when guys actually do kind of like each other? <laughs> that's a little extra. I think that's a little, it's a little steep. We liked each other last year too. It was just, we, uh, we had guys who, who all buy into what Wes wants. You know, it's not a lot of John back, not a lot of, uh, kind of push back on what we want. It's, you know, getting what he wants done first. And if we need to make adjustments, make adjustments later. You know, we're not questioning his, his I guess, methods in a way. You know, we're all accepting. We're all accepting the criticism, uh, 1 through 15. And I think that's the biggest thing about it, man, is, you know, it's just pure joy that we're out there and we have a chance to make this team something that, we can build it into, you know, I think everybody's bought into that. And I think that's, that's a beauty. That's been the beauty of it for sure. Through, uh, through two games, what's the chemistry been like between yourself and Kuz and KP and what's been good and, and maybe what can you guys improve on? Oh, everything is, is up for improvement. You know, nothing is perfect. Uh, you know, we're still figuring each other out. We're still figuring out our, you know, our spots and, you know, I'm still learning KP where he wants the ball. Kuz is going to be Kuz. Kuz is super aggressive from start to finish. You know, we need him like that. And I was telling him he's he's at his best version when he's getting downhill, attacking the basket. You know, then obviously when he's he's locked in, he's, his three-point shot is, is cash. So 
uh, you know, constantly figuring out that dynamic with KP. He does a great job of rolling and popping, mixing in them both. Uh, you know, and it's, I mean, we're, we're still a work in progress. You know, obviously, we do a good job of sharing it, shooting it, knocking down shots, but uh, like I said, everything can, can be better for sure. Out of the last two games, you guys had big leads. Uh, the other team came back, but you still held on 2 0. It says a lot about resiliency. So, what have you learned about your teammates in that short amount of time? Uh, I guess what you just said, we're resilient. You know, we uh, we take pride in who we are and getting stops. You know, that's what's going to win us games. You know, we, we can't win games without getting stops. And sometimes, I mean, we respect everybody. Everybody's a pro. You know, the last two games we played, Indiana has good guys, and Chicago, for damn sure, has pros and good guys on their team, too. So, you, you respect that, you know, but we don't back down. We don't give in to their runs. We, you know, that's that's a part of the game we're going to run, too. Uh, but, you know, it speaks volumes. You know, a lot of vets we have, a lot of guys who've, who've been in winning situations, uh, you know, they come in, know what to do, know what to expect, and, you know, we stay poised when runs are made and make the right plays down the stretch, and that's all, that's all we can do. Brad, at what point in the game did you request to West to guard DeMar? I think when Denny got the last foul on him, I think he re rejected the screen on Denny and they called a foul on him going baseline. And it was, I was like, just let me guard him. Let me, just, let me give him a different look, mess with the ball, jab at the ball, tap his elbow without the ref looking, doing some little stuff uh, that I can get away with because they were they were really a little whistle happy down there. But uh, DeMar's aggressive. He's always going to look to play through hands and play through contact. So, you know, I I study DeMar. I, I love his game. And I didn't, I won't say I knew what was coming, but I can get a feel of what he liked and, you know, what, what move he was going to go to. I'm not saying I was going to stop him, but I was going to make it a lot tougher for sure on I was going to make him work. So that was just my whole game plan, I guess. Yeah. We've talked about this before, but I think fourth time in the past four years, you've been held without a free throw attempt. Mm. That second to last bucket seemed like you mm. deserved one. Yeah. Is there anything that you can do to try and voice your case? I mean, we only shot 11 free throws, so they're 33. I'm going to leave it at that. That's all I'm going to say. And Bill shot none. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's BS. <laughs> uh, Brad, um, yeah, that that eleven free throw you did shoot ninety percent uh, mm -hmm. from the from the free throw. But my question was, uh, what are your major adjustments uh, now that you're not expected to uh, hit twenty eight thirty points a game? So, what are the major adjustments in your game? Uh, I mean, don't get it twisted. I'll still go off for 30, 40, and 50 if I need to. Uh, no, I'm just, it's, it doesn't, I'm not required to do that. You know, I don't have to do that. Um, I have teammates who can score the ball, who can make, make plays too. Uh, we have a seven, three guy who can shoot over anybody. Uh, so it's me trusting, trusting guys. That's, that's literally all it is. You know, it's not me trying to do everything, trying to make every play. Um, Obviously, I'd be aggressive when I can, but for the most part, it's trusting my teammates, you know, because when it comes down to the stretch, like the nitty gritty, like it did tonight, I'm going to need Denny to step up and make a three, right? I'm going to need Kuz to step up and make plays, Porzingis to step up and make plays, everybody. So uh, the more I continue to do that, the more confidence they get. So that's that's literally all I do. I know I can score with the best of them. I can score when I need to, but helping my teammates get buckets and easy ones is something I've embraced more and more this year, for sure. Hi, Brad. How you doing? So what do you think was the turning point? Like, in your eyes, what was the turning point in the game for you? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a turning point. I feel like we were in good control pretty much the whole game. We got off to a really good start, good energy. Uh, and obviously, you, re you respect teams. Teams are going to make their runs, and we know how DeMar is. DeMar's been hot coming off a 37-point night. Um, and then no Zach, you know, so, you know, he's going to be super aggressive in that regard. Um, but – you know, they have – they're a really good put-together team. You know, we we came out, but we focused on us. We didn't get too riled up in the intro, the crazy night we had being the first game. Like, we were really locked in and understood that, you know, we were going to win defensively. That was the only way we were going to win this game. Um, and so, I would say throughout the whole game, we just did a good job of staying in it, staying poised, not getting rattled, not breaking apart as a team. We stayed in it, stayed rattled. Uh, I mean, stayed together through adversity and, and pulled off a great win. So everyone's talking about that you guys like each other, right? How do you build that chemistry off the court? Like, talk to me about it. What happens in practice? 
what are the little things that maybe we don't know? Uh, Japan helped. You know, we were there for five, six days and uh, really tight schedule, but it forced us to more or less be around each other. But I'll take it back even a little bit further. Coach required everybody to be here in D.C. after Labor Day. Um, and I would say so everything from the summer, us being in L.A. at mini camp to training camp to before training camp, uh, reporting into D.C., getting workout in, hanging out, um, playing pickup like that builds that camaraderie that builds those relationships. And then obviously hanging with guys outside the court, going to eat, you know, hanging out, whatever it is, you know, that builds it, too. And it's just all a big carry over to the floor. So it's important. We need that. And me the more and more it's crazy I look at it, it's like I'm the the true vet so I, I have to be at the forefront of a lot of that stuff and making sure that we're still all locked in and we're all tied together hey Brad uh Kuz talked about in every huddle was positives and just weather the storm how is that just crucial for a team coming on the stretches everybody just being positive going down it's important man because it's it's easy to kind of drift off when teams go on a run you know you kind of like damn can we get a stop damn can we we're going to figure it out. But, you know, when you when you speak positivity and, you know, life into the team, it's, that goes a long way. You know, it boosts confidence. It gives us momentum, you know, you know, to go get a stop. Let's lock in. Let's do what we need to do. Or let's get a bucket. Let's execute the right way. Uh, whatever it is, I think those little little hints, little words of, I guess, affirmation in some ways, you know, those, those things help.